what is up everyone welcome back so you know we like to do some odd breaks on this channel uh usually still sports related uh, we've done genuine article which is a one-year company for basketball for sports uh prism uh i mean we just we try to go out there and get like some oddity fun breaks that also um could have some cool stuff in it and this is one of those so there are different years of this this is panini golden age it says find autographs and memorabilia from some of the nation's greatest athletes so that doesn't mean just uh, baseball, even though this uh, says Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, that's more what's in this set. I got it because they uh, the different series have different, they lean heavily on different stuff. But we can get old news articles. We can get uh, old Titanic stuff out of here. Triple Crown tribute cards for horse racing. Um, so it is a uh, 146 card base set with uh, 146 commons. Uh well, that's the whole set, I guess, so one one <laughs> But uh, here's all your stats on this. So I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Uh, it said literally that there are Titanic cards in here, but you can get some old school uh, relics. You can get some Black Sox uh, related cards in here. Um, you can get some old relics, autographs. So uh, curious uh, a little bit. It is Panini, so I'm sure it's uh, somewhat put together but i did get this because it said baseball hall of fame which i believe uh i could be wrong i believe that means that they're going to be most likely a little it's kind of like baseball is your main and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff littered in there so here's our big uh jumbo card i'm gonna open this last because we just did a uh, tops heritage uh break recently and we got a really nice trout out of there and i didn't know what to do with it during the break so <laughs> all right so here's our pack so let's just go ahead and uh break into these and see uh see what we're looking at so it's golden age i mean it does look super old timey right and it says black socks dual uh number 250 so if we get something with the related to the black socks that would be uh that'd be pretty cool i think no oh, there's theodore roosevelt <laughs> so yeah so this is gonna be kind of strange there's joe namath so that's pretty cool i got joe namath there this says, uh, babe, I don't want to butcher your last name, uh, Zahara. So that looks like Olympian actor, Russell Johnson. So yeah, this is going to be all over the place. So, uh, but I was interested in the Black Sox numbered cards, Ralph Kinner, and there's Theodore Roosevelt. So we just pulled the president card and put up there with Joe Namath, Ralph, uh, Kinner outfielder. So that's pretty cool. They kind of look like they were like, gypsy queen before gypsy queen was out right uh so that's kind of nice so i i guess we'll just start a stack because it's gonna be a lot of random cards in here but you can get uh memorabilia and autographs and if we get something pretty uh one off that's that's interesting to me so yeah even this looks like they used to use this this set to print jo tops gypsy queen on so um i don't know so i'm interested uh but We've done some ones where uh, I'm literally like, Do don't ever buy that box. We just needed to see some curiosity to break it. Uh, Rudolph Valentino, the actor. Carl Bernstein is a investigative journalist. Steve uh, Podden is a uh, affirmed jockey. There's Pete Rose. Broadleaf cigarettes. Interesting. Here's the first baseman of Buck Leonard cool throwback so I'm, and then ty cobb so i'm not sure the value on these i'm sure it's not uh a ton since i did pick this up uh it was not expensive not that expensive so i'm gonna keep uh, most of the baseball ones up there and then any cool any cool oddity ones up there but there are um so here's an american journalist uh wk uh kellogg remember him mark spitz swimmer uh, Murray Wills, the shortstop. And then Bobby uh, Thompson, the outfielder. Looks like, yeah, they even look Gypsy Queenish, right? So, Mrs. must have been the inspiration. Spin Hogan, the golfer. Man of War, 1920 uh, champion for um, the Kentucky Derby. So, it's kind of cool little history uh, trick as well. Uh, trip as well. This one feels way thicker. So, maybe we got something here. But, uh, I mean, it was interesting. <laughs> there's no question. I'm not sure how I feel about what we're going to get. But does this look like there's a, either a spacer or some sort of relic in here? There's a second baseman of uh, Red Somebody. I'm not going to pronounce it. There's uh, Dizzy Dean, the pitcher. 
Rolly fingers the pitcher, and it is just a, a spacer. So it looks like they uh, were working those in already. Here's a golfer, Walter Hagen. It's John F. Kennedy, president. And uh, Gene uh, Tennant's the catcher. So, yeah, a little more baseball. That's good. I'm happy that there's a little more baseball in here because that was kind of what I was looking for. But uh, <laughs> you just you never know what you're going to get. But we did pull a pretty cool Ty Cobb. Uh, they are reprints and things like that. And they, look, they have a little... You know, you're pulling off. I pulled Joe Namath as well. So it's just these boxes where they put these different ones in there is interesting. Uh, Battling Nelson, lightweight champion. So that's Battling Nelson right there. Barbara Eden, the actress, has her own card from Panini. Interesting. Golden Age Headlines. Uh, kissing uh, War Goodbye. So everyone, I think, if uh, seen that used as a in the media. So. I actually kind of find these interesting. Edgar Allan Poe. Um, they are kind of we like odd, but they are kind of they are kind of cool as well. Buster Keaton, it's an actor. So, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I guess yeah, it's just the golden age, right? These are the people that were pretty much uh, setting the trends at the time, and all the headlines. So. Uh, I just wanted, I saw the numbered to 50 Black Sox possibility card, and I thought if uh, I can get one of those, that would be a pretty cool memorabilia card for me. So there's Ron Boomberg, uh, first baseman. Uh, there's uh, Leon Jones or Cleon Jones. And then here's another uh, Triple Crown headline news. There's the same Bobby Nelson, uh, lightweight champion. There's Bill Russell. That's cool. Basketball, finally. There's uh, Brian Nelson, the golfer. Yeah, this one feels thick, too. So maybe we'll get a relic soon. Hopefully, we don't just end up with a bunch of spacers, but... Piece of the Titanic. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. Uh, there's Harry Truman. Buck Weaver. Yeah, another spacer. Uh, Jean Cru Cruet. I don't know how to say your name, buddy. There's uh, Duke Snyder. And there's Jack Johnson, heavyweight champ, and Dwight D. Eisenhower. Um, it's weird. I feel like I have to put all the presidents up here with the, uh, <laughs> the the good ones. I mean, not that those aren't good. I just don't really know my jockeys. But now I can say I've broken uh, jockeys. <laughs> so, do all sports on here. It's Bobby uh, or Bob Feller, the pitcher. Oh, nice, John Heisman. That's pretty cool. John Blue Moon Odom, the pitcher. Drafted out of high school in 1964. Another spacer. It says early win pitcher. Um, and then this says Jim Ryan, the Miller. So I think that's a, is that a type of uh, sport in the, as Roosevelt, in the Olympics. So... Pretty cool. Hoping to get a number card soon. Uh, you know, strange break. You can watch those some of those other ones on here. Uh, but they are they are kind of cool. At least they're different. Warren, uh, I think it's Spain with uh, as a pitcher. There's Joe Torre. All right, we got an auto. I think this is an auto. Yeah. Ron uh, Turcotti or Turcotti. So this is an auto for a jockey. So we got a jockey auto uh, out of this. Um, but let's uh, read what it says and see what year it's what year he was uh, doing his thing. There's a shockwave of sights and sounds uh, all around him. Um, he had a 31 length victory in 1973 at Belmont Stakes. So, um, and then the jockey completed the first Triple Crown since 1948. So 1973, the 19 early 1970s is when uh, this jockey was doing his thing. So. That's uh, our auto. Hopefully, it's not one per box. And, you know, you know, Panini. Uh, no offense, but I was hoping it'd be like even a boxer would be cool. Uh, and there's uh, Frank Howard and uh, Buck Dickley. So, get like a lot more baseball. So, at least, at least there's that. So, I guess if they put like a tagline of baseball or basketball, you're going you're gonna to get a little more of those players. High jumper, 
Triple Crown, 1948. Tony Perez. Charlie Chapman, the actor. Shortstop of uh, Phil Rizzuto. Frank Robinson. So, the card stock's pretty thick. Like, uh, I like the, the feel of it, but... Hope we can pull a dual uh, bat black socks out of here. So crown prince of basketball is uh, Metal Lark Lemon. It's a hockey card. So we've pretty much pulled we pulled pretty much everything. Uh, Gordy How uh, Howie Seattle Slough, 1977 triple crown. Got that before. Is Jackie Robinson. So that's pretty nice. I mean, you kind of, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, you could pretend you're pulling like legit Jackie Robbins cards. I mean, it is, but it's a reprint, but that's kind of nice. It's kind of cool. All right. Here's an outfield of uh, Stan uh, Musal, Richard Nixon. There's another spacer. And here's a uh, one of three Stooges, Curly. And a shortstop of Sweetie uh, Riseberg. So, long shot, I could pull a, uh, I mean, uh, a numbered Black Sox card for me was kind of there. Uh, it's interesting break, like, but I just don't know if the Hindenburg, uh, this card, Gem Mint 10, I don't know what it's going to fetch. So, <laughs> there's Richard Petty. The auto racer, man, we pulled, we've now it's cream of Dulce Bar. We pulled almost every type of sport, journalists, actors. So we're staying true to this channel. We'll just break anything. Uh, and there's Ava Gardner and Sam Crawford. So uh, I know that it seems lame, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I really nice change of pace while still pulling like uh, cream of Dulce Bar or uh, Frank Robinson. Here's Lefty Williams, a pitcher. It's that card again. All right, here's a uh, different card. It looks like it's a pop-up card. We're not going to pop it up, but it's Man of War, Thoroughbred, uh, Horse. Um, his two-year career from 19, uh, 19 to 1920. So that's a uh, an insert, I'm guessing. So interesting. Uh, Bobby Jones, a golfer, and uh, Willie uh, McCovey, first baseman. So about halfway through the box, um, still feeling a lot of a uh, pretty thick pack. So maybe we can still pull a weird relic out of here. But the Hindenburg and Cream Abdul Jabbar and Frank Robinson all in one uh, one box. Who would have thought? Uh, Elizabeth Montgomery, the actress. Boog Powell, first baseman. Uh, Frankie Fritsch is a second baseman, and we did get a relic. <laughs> and it's a relic of Ava Gardner. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I didn't know. Okay, so this is an authenticated piece of uh, her clothing. That's not uh, stalkerish at all or anything, but um, that's, uh, that's interesting. Um, I had a multiple relic. Oh, here. Uh, one touches. I guess I don't, but that's uh, Ava Gardner. That's an uh, authentic piece of her collection. Uh, this is a me all cards. So there's that. Man, this box is weird. Uh, Duke Ellington. That's cool. Jazz uh, legend. Uh, Frank McMullen is an infielder. Who did we miss out here? Roosevelt. So hopefully we can pull a sports. I mean, we got a we got an actress's piece of her sock and. We got a jockey auto, so hopefully we can hone it in and get something uh, a little more closer to home. Football, basketball, baseball, hockey. There's uh, Jimmy Fox, is a first baseman. Steve Garvey, first baseman. Uh, Catfish Hunter. Bob Gibson. That's cool. And then uh, Burley Grimes, pitcher. Joe DiMaggio. That's cool. I mean, I know it's like a not a real Joe DiMaggio, but... Still kind of nice to pull your own Joe DiMaggio. So that's what I mean. Like stuff like this where you can pull those are, that's pretty interesting to me. I, uh, <laughs> the entertainment factor of this box though, I got to hand it to him. It is different. 
Uh, Earl Weaver is a manager. And then uh, Joe uh, Gargliona is a catcher. Uh, Thurman Munson catcher. There's a Nolan Ryan. Billy Martin, second baseman. And then here's the Three Stooges, and they actually have color on this one, so... I mean, the, the cards look good. It's just... It's really eclectic. Like, this is like... I, I don't know if you can find someone who's going to buy this box and love every card. So, that's the hard part about the value, right? It's like, who's going to buy this and go, man, I really hope I get a piece of uh, Ava Gardner's... Uh, dress and uh this jockey's signature and then also i want a three stooges um <laughs> three stooges card all right there's maureen uh, mccormick lou Pinella. uh somebody else i can't do small right there uh tony uh Quebec is a shortstop and charlie chaplin but we got we got a small one now we have a big one so what am i gonna do with these about one stack left a little less so if you're still here with me uh props to you but uh we are growing the channel we appreciate the uh, like and subscribe we do these oddball breaks and we do a lot of like normal be football basketball baseball and so forth so there's john dean a white house council so that's a strange card as well reggie jackson we actually pulled a really cool relic of his on this channel a 2005 don rest you can watch uh walter hagan the golfer jack johnson we've got um Jane Mansfield. I don't, uh, a little too young to know who all these people are, but I'm sure I've seen them in some older movie that I don't remember. All right, there's the Titanic. They did not disappoint when I said we get a piece of the Titanic. Uh, there's Whitey Ford, a firm Triple Crown winner. There's another uh, relic. Uh, Gordy Howie, right there with your. There's a uh, Rogers Hornsby. That's cool. So yeah, it's so like pulling those kind of cards is pretty, pretty interesting. But uh, here's another thick one. So we'll see probably a spacer because we got that relic hit. <laughs> relic hit of uh, Ava Gardner. It's Duke Snyder. That's cool. It's a cool Duke Snyder card. Jack Dempsey. That's a I actually kind of like this boxing card. That's uh, weird. I know, but it's cool. I like Jack Dempsey. It's Pete Rose, but a big one. Uh, Sam uh, Sneed, uh, R.K. Vaughn, Bobby Thompson. So, all right, we're getting down to the last three packs. I don't feel a thicker relic in here, so looks like we can't get any of the Three Stooges piece of their hat, but <laughs> maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right, here's a half pack. Oh, it's our first football hit, huh? Uh, Red Grange. Oh no, we got Joe Namath to start out. Oh, and here's our uh, here's our jockey. So we can we can maybe we can sell that as a set for uh, ten bucks. All right, here's a Golden Age Johnny Bench. So it is an insert card. Uh, it doesn't have any special numbering, but still cool, different. Uh, Mini uh, Messino, and then the Spirit of St. Louis Plain to back him up. <laughs> Woo, man. Um, all right, two packs left. I'm it's so weird. It's like I, I want to get another one just because it's so weird. Uh, Pee Wee Reese, Seattle Slew, we've got it's a double, so maybe we can sell one. That's <laughs> Frank uh, Tana and the Loch Ness Monster. Man, this is a really rare, uh, really rare pull for this box. There's uh, some other shortstop. All right, last pack. Thanks for joining me on this, uh, the Golden Age Panini. Uh, heavily baseball for sure, because they did say it was going to be heavily baseball, which is great. Uh, I had a couple hit cards in mind. Not, definitely not what we got. But uh, there's Rusty uh, somebody. Eddie Matthews, the third baseman. Bobby Fisher is a chess grandmaster. Okay, so now we have chess added to the mix. And uh, there's Carl Yastrzemski, so that's cool. Finish it out. And... Uh, Early win, but Carly Scrimshi to uh, finish it. So uh, I would go through the recap, but if you were here with me, you saw we got boxing, chess, uh, actors, actresses, news clippings, uh, uh, jockeys, uh, horses, planes, uh, everything. So, but a bunch of baseball cards. Uh, I personally like uh, some of the boxing cards as well. So 
Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we'll bring you a lot more content, uh, specific uh, sports, and we'll see you on the next break. Yeah.